an airlift is the organized delivery of military supplies or military personnel primarily via military transport aircraft. Airlifting consists of two distinct types, strategic and tactical airlifting. Typically, strategic airlifting involves moving material long distances, whereas a tactical airlift focuses on deploying resources and material into a specific location with high precision. Depending on the situation, airlifted supplies can be delivered by a variety of means. When the destination and surrounding airspace is considered secure, the aircraft will land at an appropriate airport or airbase to have its cargo unloaded on the ground. When landing the craft, or distributing the supplies to a certain area from a landing zone by surface transportation is not an option, the cargo aircraft can drop them in mid-flight using parachutes attached to the supply containers in question. When there is a broad area available where the intended receivers have control without fear of the enemy interfering with collection and or stealing the goods, the planes can maintain a normal flight altitude and simply drop the supplies down and let them parachute to the ground. However, when the area is too small for this method, as with an isolated base, and or is too dangerous to land in, a low-altitude parachute extraction system drop is used. History In November 1915, Serbian Air Force made first transport of wounded soldiers from Serbia through Albania to Corfu. That was the first medivac operation in air history April 1923 aircraft of the RAF's Iraq Command flew 280 Sikh troops from Kingarban to Kirkig in the first British air trooping operation. This operation was only conducted over a short range and it was not until 1929 that the RAF conducted a long-range non-combat air evacuation of British diplomatic staff from Afghanistan to India using a Vickers Victoria during the Kabul airlift. The world's first long-range combat airlift took place in July 1936. Luftwaffe Ju-52 and Italian Air Force Savoia Marchetti SM-81 were used by the Spanish nationalists to transport troops from Spanish Morocco to Spain at the beginning of the Spanish Civil War. Airlifts became practical during World War II as aircraft became large and sophisticated enough to handle large cargo demands. The USAAF's Air Transport Command began the largest and longest sustained airlift to the war in May 1942 delivering more than half a million net tons of material from India to China over the hump by November 1945. The largest airlift was the Berlin Airlift, lasting from June 1948 to September 1949, an American, British and French operation intended to thwart the blockading of the city of Berlin by the Soviet Union. The largest civilian airlift ever, the Biafran Airlift, was carried out by Protestant and Catholic churches working together under the banner Joint Church Aid to Carry Food to Biafra, during the Biafran Secession War from Nigeria in 1967-70. This joint effort is estimated to have saved more than a million lives in Biafra. Most airplanes departed from the Portuguese colony of Sao Tome and Principe to the bush landing strip of Uli, the only operational airport in Biafra, which was made by enlarging a common road. Flights were made flying at night with all lights off and under near total radio silence to avoid Nigerian MiG aircraft. All the airplanes, crews and logistics were paid, set up and maintained by the joint church groups. JCA and their crews and aircraft kept flying into Biafra at the cost of many crews' lives. Strategic Airlift Strategic airlift is the use of military transport aircraft to transport materiel, weaponry, or personnel over long distances. Typically, this involves airlifting the required items between two air bases which are not in the same vicinity. This allows commanders to bring items into a combat theater from a point on the other side of the planet, if necessary. Aircraft which perform this role are considered strategic airlifters. This contrasts with tactical airlifters, such as the C-130 Hercules and Transall C-160 which can normally only move supplies within a given theater of operations. Examples of late 20th-slash-early 21st century large strategic airlifters include, Antonov An-124 Rulin, Antonov An-225 Maria, Boeing C-17 Globmaster III, Ilyush Anil 76 Candid, Lockheed C-141 Starlifter, Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, Xion Aircraft Industrial Corporation Y-20, Short Spell Fast. That being said, 
with present technology it is impossible to shift a substantial mechanized force, particularly tanks, by air. This difficulty has prompted investment in lighter armored fighting vehicles, as well as some preliminary research into alternative airlift technologies such as ground effect vehicles and airships. Civilian aircraft are also commonly used for transportation. For some civilian airlines, such as Miami Air International and Volga DNEPR Airlines, military contracts account for a large portion of their income. Tactical airlift Tactical airlift is a military term for the airborne transportation of supplies and equipment within a theater of operations. Aircraft which perform this role are referred to as tactical airlifters. These are typically turboprop aircraft and feature short landing and takeoff distances and low pressure tires allowing operations from small or poorly prepared airstrips. While they lack the speed and range of strategic airlifters, these capabilities are invaluable within war zones. Larger helicopters such as the CH-47 Chinook and the Mi-26 can also be used to airlift men and equipment. Helicopters have the advantage that they do not require a landing strip and that equipment can often be suspended below the aircraft allowing it to be delivered without landing but are fuel inefficient and thus typically have limited range. Hybrid aircraft such as the V-22 Osprey also exist which attempt to combine VTOL fight with greater range and speed. Tactical airlift aircraft are designed to be maneuverable allowing low-altitude flight to avoid detection by radar and for the air dropping of supplies. Most are fitted with defensive aid systems to protect them from attack by surface-to-air missiles. The earliest Soviet tactical airlift occurred in 1929, in which 40 men of the Red Army were airlifted to the town of Gom, Tajikistan to repel an attacking force of Basmaki rebels under Fusel Maksum. Examples of late 20th-slash-early 21st century large tactical airlifters include, Airbus A400M, Antonov N12, Antonov N72, Antonov N70, Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, EADSCASACN-235, EADSCASAC-295, Alenia C-27 Spartan, Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules, Transall C-160, Kawasaki C-2, Sheung C-19, Embraer Embraer KC-390, United Aircraft Corporation of Russia Howl Ilyushin Il-214 MTA. Airlifter Comparison, Airlifters in service during the late 20th-slash-early 21st centuries. See also, Airbridge, Airdrop, Air Cargo, Berlin Airlift, Loss of Strength Gradient, Power Projection, See Alift, Hub Spoke Distribution. References and Notes. External links, the short film Airlift, Working for Humanity is available for free download at the Internet Archive.